what would you say your strengths are in playing in the back line when your game's at your best? What do you feel like is going really well for you? I think just that ability to just relieve the pressure off the back lines, like when you're getting swamped kind of thing and just being able to just clear that ball out, get it to your midfielders or your wingers and just get it forward and get it into your four fifty. I feel like that's probably my biggest strengths. What areas of our program do you think that have been different to other programs that you've done in the past? I guess for those listening that haven't experienced a strength conditioning program that's sort of footy specific. Yeah. Well, I'd say like the sort of your standard movements, like your, your bench press and deadlift and stuff like that. I didn't really used to do that all that much. It was very like, like free weights, dynamic kind of thing. So I think just having that bit more simpler approach has definitely helped. And then some of the more complicated movements, like more explosive ones, adding them sort of into the more traditional kind of strength training and weightlifting has been good rather than just focusing solely on just like explosiveness or agility kind of thing. How do you keep yourself sort of motivated and accountable to the program, particularly in season? As we know, it's a long competitive year. What are some things that you found helpful, I guess, for those listening in that find it hard to stick to a program in season? What's helped you? Yeah, I find it's just my mindset always is like you have an option to put in the work or not put in the work. And I think like, even if you had like a big day at work or, you know, you might get home and, you know, you don't really feel like going, it's always going to be more beneficial to go to the gym and get the work in, you know, cause it's just going to help you at the end of the day. As long as I, you know, get a good sleep at the end of the day, that's all I'm really fussed about. How did you sort of get on that wavelength? Where, where, where did the penny drop where you started to recognize that sleep was important, nutrition, some of these sort of lifestyle factors for your football? Was it a resource? Was it a book? Was it a particular video online? Was it maybe a, a peer, a teammate or something? Or It's probably always been my dad, I'd say. Ever since I was young, he's always banging on to me about sleeping well and eating well kind of thing. And then, you know, I was mentioning before the live stream that I was, you know, doing that Athlete Next program and he was always, you know, of the mindset that, you know, sleep and nutrition are more important than anything. So yeah, I suppose it's Probably the person who started it all was my dad from an early age and then it's just kind of carried over. And then I suppose it's just kind of become habit and then further reinforced through different programs along the way and stuff. What does a typical start of week look like, both from in the gym to your recovery, but also your football training nights as well? Yep. So Monday I'll do Tuesday's leg workout just because it's a bit hard to fit it in. On a Tuesday, just with footy training and it's a bit, I think it's like 30 minutes drive and I don't get back too late and then usually got to go to bed a bit earlier to get up early. So it's just easier if I just move it to the Monday. And then, yeah, Tuesday, footy training. And then Wednesday, I'll do the upper body workout. And then Thursday, I'll do the full body for training because training doesn't start till later on a Thursday. So I've got a bit of time to fit it in before training. And then Friday, if I'm feeling good, I'll do the primer. And then, yeah, Tuesday, Thursday, I'll probably get on the bike a little bit, tick the legs over and do a bit of foam rolling, but nothing too crazy. 